Did you know that Wurmple split evolution has a real world explanation? Wurmple can evolve into either Silcoon or Cascoon, which then evolve into Beautifly or Dustox respectively. And which Pokemon it evolves into is decided on its personality value, an unknown number assigned to each individual that helps code for things like different sizes of Pokemon or the different forms of Tandemouse or Dunsparce. But in the game universe, it functions as if Wurmple's actual personality changes its evolution, and this is where actual biology comes in. Beautifly is said to have an aggressive nature, and even though it may look like your standard enormous butterfly, Beautifly is actually an omnivorous predator, using its long proboscis not only to drink nectar from flowers, but also to stab its prey. In contrast, Dustox has no mention of predation in its Pokedex, and likely feeds on leaves and instead must rely on its nocturnal habits and toxic powder to survive, instead of being a brutal bully like its counterpart. So looking at these two Pokemon, you can see that they have different personalities. Beautifly being aggressive and Dustox being passive. But in the real natural world, these differences between individuals are called behavioral syndromes. But if you want to simplify it, you can really just think of it as having different personalities or maybe different personality values. And behavioral syndromes or personalities have been studied in basically every class of vertebrate from amphibians to mammals and in many different insects. I'm sure you've met a dog in real life that might be very active or bold, and one that is shy or lazy. These are behavioral syndromes, and similar traits can be applied to a wide variety of organisms, even damselflies, as is done in this paper published in the Journal of Behavioral Ecology. This paper suggests that the behavioral syndrome of a larval damselfly is carried over through metamorphosis as an adult. That means that active and bold larvae become active and bold adults. And what is Pokemon evolution but an extreme form of metamorphosis? Taking this paper's idea and applying it to Wurmple, we see that we can have bold, active, and aggressive Wurmple evolve into the aggressive Beautifly, and passive, shy, or less active Wurmple evolve into the passive Dustox, because a Wurmple's behavioral syndrome, or personality value, is carried over through evolution into its final form just like damselflies. Animals don't really change their entire appearance when they have a different personality like Wurmple does, but that's what makes Pokemon so interesting. Let me know what you think of this kind of video for YouTube. I really liked diving deeper into a Pokemon Ecology question, even if it could be answered in a relatively short video. But as always, thanks for watching and happy researching.